What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's vlog, we are just kind of catching up. A few things have happened. Actually, a lot has happened since we last talked. I feel like it's been almost three weeks now. My mom ended up getting knee replacement surgery the other day. Mother, are you ready for your bionic knee? No. Are you nervous? Yep. Don't worry. It's a quick surgery. And so I've been with her. Today my brother took the day off and so he's with her watching her, but I'm gonna be back there for the next two days. So I figured, you know what? Great time to start the vlog. My anxiety with her going through the surgery is now gone and so I'm feeling great. And also I did a bunch of work prior to her surgery so that I would have time this week to be able to be there for her. And so yeah, I decided to start the vlog. Before we get into the video though, I have a bunch of well, not a bunch. I have some PR that I wanted to share with you guys and unbox with you guys. Well, more more like share because I've already pretty much unboxed them. Just to note though, I don't get a ton of PR. This is from like the last six months of stuff. And also a lot of smaller brands from Amazon want to send me stuff. In the beginning of the year, I was getting a lot of emails. And so I ended up setting up a PO box for myself. So a lot of these uh, smaller brands, they could send it without me giving them my address for privacy reasons. And in the beginning of the year, you know, I was pretty much just trying to take what I could get for free because who doesn't like free stuff? But I started to realize within like a few weeks that like a lot of this stuff I don't use. It's a waste. What am I doing? I don't want to show it to you guys anyways. So obviously on my channel, I want to promote things that I would genuinely want to promote to you guys. So I have been stocking up and saving some of these things that have been sent to me that I would love to share with you guys. And so we're going to start off the vlog with that today. So yeah, with that said, I do have a PO box if you guys want to send me anything. I never really thought about advertising that, but I remembered that a lot of my favorite creators put it in their descriptions because a lot of their subscribers want to send like letters or postcards or a lot of their subscribers also have small businesses. So if you have a small business and want to send me something to promote, I would love to do that. It's the least I could do to give back to my community and to you guys because if I can give back in any way, I would love that. So again, if you have a small business or like a clothing line or something you want to promote, let me know. I know one of my subscribers, Morgan, she's starting a clothing line and so she's going to send me a hoodie. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. With that said, let's go ahead and get into some of this stuff. Oh, before we get into it, uh, didn't even give you guys an update on how mom's doing. She's doing great. She's recovering well. She's on some good meds. And uh, the funny thing is when I was back there and she was starting to get the anesthesia and talking to the anesthesiologist, you know, they kind of already give her some stuff to keep her a little bit loopy and a little sleepy before they put her all the way under and wheel her away to the OR. But as they were doing that, you know, she was getting her IV in and she was like, I'm hungry. I want a Big Mac. They're all laughing, right? And then there, she's like, can you just uh, put it in my IV, the Big Mac? I'm like, oh my God, mom, what are you doing? So funny. Anyways, she's doing great. She's recovering well and I'm happy for her. And I hope that this helps with her quality of life because, you know, she's retired and she, deserves to enjoy that retirement life and travel and do whatever she wants. So mom, get well soon and I will see you tomorrow. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and share some of this PR with you guys. Okay, so the first thing I wanna share with you guys is this because I was actually in the market for something like this and this is by a company called Leatherology. And honestly guys, I've already opened this and I just kind of fell in love with it, but let me show it to you guys. Comes with like a little baggie. That's how that looks. And this is basically a 16 inch MacBook Pro or I guess 16 inch laptop holder and I've been looking for something like this for a while now But look at this. It has my initials. This is hand printed on there MBR for those that don't know my middle name is Benito. So Mikey Benito Rogers really cute The zipper is really high quality And I feel like this is a perfect present for anybody in any sort of celebration Christmas, birthdays, anniversaries. They have a lot of other products too, like really cute bags where you can actually do personalized stamping on here. And so this is the bag that I bought from Japan. And this is something I wanna just kind of carry if I'm gonna go work at a cafe. And all I'm taking is my camera and laptop. So I'll just stick it in here. So as you can see, it still sticks out, but it looks less funny being a case versus like aluminum laptop. So yeah, I know it's not ideal, but I wanna be able to use this bag with my laptop anyways, and this was like the perfect solution for me. So thank you so much Leatherology for sending this. I will leave a link down below for everything here. But yeah, honestly guys, definitely check them out. They have a bunch of other things that you can personalize. Also, none of this is sponsored, no affiliate links, no codes or anything like that. It's just one of those things that if a brand wants to send it, send it. If I wanna show it, I'll show it. So the next thing is the stone drying mat. 
And this was from just like a random Amazon brand. I don't know if you're like me, but when you wash your hands in your faucet, whether that's in your kitchen sink or your bathroom, and you just have all these little puddles by the faucet, I think it's so annoying. I always have to clean it up. But this is a stone drying mat, and it's basically made to go around your faucet. So your faucet's in the middle, and this is there, like that. And basically when water drips here, since this is stone, it'll just dry pretty nicely on here. The thing with this though for me is I wasn't thinking about my kitchen sink and my kitchen sink actually has the uh, grinder button right next to it and then also like a little spout for the dishwasher. And so <laughs> this doesn't even fit there. But it does fit in the uh, bathroom sink so I'm going to test it out there and if it works well I'll probably just buy a few more. That's like my biggest pet peeve. <laughs> I don't know why it just bugs the heck out of me. But I will link this down below. All right, the next thing I wanna show you guys is this hat by Worth Hats. I don't wanna to get too much into this because the topic is pretty deep, but I will leave a link down below. It's for a good cause and it's based off a couple of friends who decided to start a company in honor of their friend and his last name was Worth. And so you know what, like find your worth. It's all about having a good relationship with your own mental health and uh, yeah, that's all I'll say about that. But make sure to check them out because I love their philosophy and also it's for a good cause and their products are really cute. Like look how cute this hat is. They also have like some shirts. I'm not sure if they have a hat with this, but I know they have some shirts that say check up on your homies. It's kind of like a good way to talk about mental health. I don't know, because I think there's a lot of stigma with a lot of guys still when it comes to mental health. Like that's why this shirt says check in with your homies because a lot of times homies are gonna be like, how are you? Oh, I'm good, man. Yo, I'm cool. But like literally, how are you, you know? Anyways, check them out. Thank you, Worth Hats, for sending this. The next thing I wanna talk about is this tripod holder. It's a click open tabletop tripod and it is a TT38 model. And if you know me, if you know my channel, I am obsessed with just any sort of gear that can help with my content creating journey. Literally tripods, I have so many of them. I just really can't have enough because I'm using them for my action cameras. I'm using them for my main camera, which I got a new camera, which I will show you guys later because I sold my X106 for it. But this one will be for that new camera. This is by Ulanzi. Coolest thing about this, guys, are you ready for it? Ha! So basically, you have this button right here, and it's just a one-click open to open the tripod legs. So, bam! And then, you can just sit it down somewhere. Boom! Look at that. So cool. So basically you can be like vlogging like this, like what's up guys? Hey, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> and then, oh, I need to set you guys down. Boom. This also has like a little leg right here so that you're able to clip it onto stuff. So it goes like that. So you can convert it into that right there. So yeah, I'm excited to be using this with my new camera as a secondary. Boom, boom, pow, pow. <laughs> Oh, I'm crazy. But yeah, thank you Lonzi for sending this over. Excited to put this to use for my vlogs. Okay, next thing I wanna show you guys is by a company called The Gem, and these are your daily vitamins. I already opened it, so it's going to be empty. <laughs> but that's what it comes in. You have your little daily vitamins right here. It comes in this package right here. And this also came with a cute little carrying case. If you're traveling, you can just put your daily gems in here for your vitamin needs. So this is like, I would say, really good for people who don't like to take pills. Me, I don't have a problem taking pills. It's easier for me to just like <laughs> pop into my mouth. So these come in little like daily bites like this. So again, if you're not into taking pills, you can just grab this. I'm not gonna eat this because Donnie has been taking these. I'm just gonna let him finish it off. So this flavor is the citrus ginger and it has all of these amazing ingredients. So, I mean, you're literally eating real food. So one of these serving bites is for this flavor anyways, is 35 calories. If you guys are wanting to get your vitamins but not in the pill form, check out Gems. This was actually sent to me, I believe, last year, but JB Mason sent this to me. A little honorable mention since I had it out here on my counter. Mmm, smells so, so good. I could put this as like cologne. <laughs> and then I have this little uh, timer cube right here and it has five, 10, 30, 60 minute timers on here. And I have been using this because I realized that I wanna get off my desk every hour and just basically all you have to do is go either which way for this to show. So if that's 30, so this one's 60. If I just flip it over this way, 
it'll do a 60 minute timer. You see that? I feel like it makes me more productive because I get off my seat for an hour, I go do something, I go see the dogs, I get some fresh air outside, and it just keeps me a little bit more active throughout the day versus just being seated all day. I have one last thing to show you, which is a backpack, and this is from a brand called Brevity, and this is their jumper backpack. They actually emailed me and said, hey, I wanna send this to you, and I told them that. I was like, yeah, you can send it to me, but I would prefer the larger version just because I knew I wouldn't like the smaller version. This is a smaller version. I feel like my back is just a little bit like on the wider side, so small backpacks look a little bit weird for me. But anyways, they sent this to me, and I knew I wouldn't like the small one, and I really don't, it just doesn't look good on me, but Donnie loves it, so I decided to keep it. I was gonna send it back to them or give it to my nephew, but Donnie actually loves it and he's gonna be taking it to work for them even though it can be a camera backpack because it has inserts here. I mean, the quality is really good and the color I love, it's just the size for me. I'm a bigger backpack sort of person, nothing against the product itself, but you can make it into a camera backpack with these inserts, but Donnie is actually gonna take them out so now it's just an open backpack. But yeah, it's a really great backpack. Zippers open and close very nicely. It has so many different pockets and organization in there. And the cool thing about this backpack too is it does have a luggage holder for your carry-on trolley or your luggage right here. But yeah, I really like the color, but again, just the size wasn't for me, but I'm glad that it could still go to good use with Donnie. Oh yeah, also has like a little uh, quick access right here so that you can uh, grab your camera if you want to really quickly. But yeah, cute, cool backpack, just not the size for me. Hopefully this wasn't too long and uh, you guys are still sticking around because we still have quite a few things we wanna do together. It's iPhone week, so I'm picking up my new iPhone on Friday. I also have some exciting news for you. We have a new edition coming, and that's all I'll say. But I'll tell you guys a little bit later in the video. Oh, and my new camera. I'll, I'll show you guys in the office. All right, let's go. Let's bring the new Alonzi tripod to you. Oh my God. Well, I was sitting down for so long that that hurt getting up. I actually bought it with a lens, but I returned that lens because it was a little too tight for me. It's a 40 millimeter f2.5 lens. It's so cute and small. I'll put a picture right here. Super cute, but I felt it a little bit too tight. So I'm still on the lookout for a tiny lens because I'm replacing this with the Fuji X106, which is a small, super cute compact camera. So I definitely want something on the smaller side as well. But this is a new camera right here. Bam! Oh, I picked up the zoom lens too because it is versatile. This is a Sigma 28 to 70 millimeter lens that I use often for my content work when I need to zoom in. But as you can see, it's still pretty big. What am I doing? Let me turn you guys around. Okay, so here she is. I got the silver version. I've never really owned a silver version camera before. I'm always usually all black because I find it to be a little bit more stealthy, but I decided, you know what? Let's change it up and get a silver body, and I'm glad I did. I put a silver grip on the bottom just for some extra real estate for my pinky, which I have broken pinkies, so I need <laughs> to uh, have room for my pinky right here. See that? So again, my pinkies are broken, look. Look at that, weird, right? So I need a spot for my pinky. <laughs> Anyways, this is the a7C2, it's a full frame camera. It's similar to the a7 IV that I sold, but this one is a lot smaller because you're not having the bump right here, and so that's why I decided to get it because this will be great for travel. It'll be my hybrid video and photo travel cam. Bam! Oh my gosh, I was also cleaning out my tech drawer. Let me show you, I'm really uh, proud of my organization, it's looking pretty good. I bought these off Amazon. I will link these down below as well. But I wanted to show you this because I was organizing my action camera drawer and was like, oh my gosh, <gasps> I forgot. I still have to give this away. I am so sorry, guys. Okay, guys, I just wanna say I'm so freaking sorry because I did say I would give this away like literally so long ago when I did my Insta360 Go 3S video. I told you guys I would be giving this away in a live and honestly, one is I kind of didn't get the courage to go live because I'm so nervous and anxious about it. But two, after that, I kinda honestly just forgot. And as I was cleaning my tech drawer, I was like, oh shit, I gotta give this away. So, <sighs> Gotta just do it. Okay, it is September 18th. I am going to make it a point to go live by the end of the month. <laughs> Please. And uh, 
give this away because it deserves a new home. It's literally just sitting in my tech drawer. So make sure to check out my community tab also on Instagram. Make sure you follow me because I will be posting my giveaway there or at least I'll be posting when I'll be going live and I'll try to give you guys 24 hours in advance if possible because I kind of don't want to shoot myself in the foot and say I'm going live in 24 hours and then freak out and don't. I went live once and it was nerve wracking. Had fun, but it was still nerve wracking. I actually had to have a couple drinks <laughs> while I was going live, which honestly might have to happen again. I'm so sorry. This will be going to one of my lovely subscribers very soon. Oh, I just passed my two year anniversary. So I published my first vlog, my first vlog, August 3rd, 2022. And so for two years now, I gained about 15,000 subscribers. I'm not really sure if that's good or bad. Well, we're sitting at 15,695. And what's crazy is, I don't know how this turned into like a little chat about my growth, but <laughs> I posted this Fit for 40 series and um, there was a moment where I lost a ton of subscribers. So I don't know if you could see that trajectory right there, but that down graph, <laughs> people did not like this video. Like, I mean, I'm still on the up because I gained four subscribers, even though I lost a ton. I wanna say I lost 20, if I remember correctly. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, guys. I feel like I should have at least been like 20K subscribers now. I was like, I could probably do 10K a year, but it's been two years at almost 16K. So yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna keep chugging along and hope the right people stumble upon my videos. And okay babbling i'm gonna to get to work and um i will see you guys tomorrow probably at mom's house um i'll see if she wants to get on camera and say hi but i'm not sure because you know she just had surgery and all hi everybody i am now at my mom's house but i'm kind of trying to be quiet because she's sleeping so hopefully you can hear me okay but i said yesterday i had some exciting news for you so i wanted to share that with you guys real quick the exciting news, I said we we're getting a new addition and that is a new puppy. <laughs> we are getting a third dog and the goal was always three. Donnie wants five, but I'm like, no, two was my max. Now three is my max and that's definitely my max. <laughs> like, bro, no. <laughs> so my original plan was to get a Boston Terrier because my previous dog Monster was a Boston Terrier and I just grew to love that breed. They're just so loving, energetic, and total cuddle bugs. But the only thing about that breed is through the years I've been seeing really irresponsible breeders and I know buying a dog through a breeder is controversial. I am also very much team rescue or adopt if you can but there's just certain circumstances for us that has not been an option for us, especially having two small dogs. But I'm getting off tangent. This isn't about if you should get a dog from breeder or not, but we're super excited. We're using the same breeder that we got Hero and Aiko from. I trust her and she's not like a mass breeder. She just breeds on the side when it makes sense for her and her family. So yeah, we're excited uh, to bring another dog into our home and family, especially for Aiko because, you know, I really think Hero changed when Monster died because I was looking at past videos and they would play all the time. But then when Monster started to lose her eyesight, she played less and so Hero stopped playing. I don't know if she really still has some sort of a uh, depression with losing her sister. So she's good in the sense, but she just doesn't play as often. And so Aiko is just very playful and you know, they get into moments of playfulness, but we feel like Aiko needs someone who can keep up with her energy. She's set to arrive in about two weeks. She's gonna be coming from Texas through a flight nanny. And uh, let me show you a picture. She's so freaking cute. Oh my god, how cute is that? Let me show a video to you guys. Oh my gosh, it's that one right there. <laughs> I guess I could put this video on the screen, but I think it's cuter sending it to you. Let me see another picture. So her coat is considered fawn blue. Aiko is tricolor black brown and white and then hero is just i think it's fawn so yeah i have a little uh, interracial family coming up here <laughs> 
So we started thinking of names and I have a list of dog names that I've always had. We are leaning towards one and I think it's one of those things when we see her and call her by her name, if it sticks, it sticks because, uh, you know, sometimes her personality doesn't match. But the one in running that we want to call her is Blue, B-L-E-U. I feel like that's cute. Like, Hero, Aiko, Blue. We know we definitely didn't want something to sound like Hero or Aiko just because you know, wanted to change it up a bit and don't want to have three names that all kind of have the same cadence, if that makes sense. So yeah, Blue is in the running. I also like the name River. I think that's so cute because I like nature and River is also Blue. So that might be in the running. Donnie really likes Blue. So if it matches her when we see her, then it's probably going to be Blue. But yeah, that's the exciting news I wanted to share with you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, I already posted about it. Hey guys, here at Barnes and Nobles. Just wrapped up the meeting, but I want to pick up a magazine. This one looks cool, but it's a little expensive. It's $42. I might just pick up milk. I'm kind of just looking for more inspiration. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this. I also like Dwell. I also really like checking out the gift section. They have a lot of cool stuff here. The only thing though is it's much more expensive here over Amazon. So definitely just like take a picture, take a note, find it on Amazon, like this guy. How much is it here? 80 bucks. I'm pretty sure I got this for like 50 off Amazon. So come here for inspiration, but uh, buy it off Amazon. Like this looks really cool. looks cool. Oh, I love this book. I'm gonna look up this on Amazon too. All right, so here's an example. $24.95, $15.99. Another example. $80 here, $57.85. Purchased May 2023. All right, let's head to Apple. Pick up our phone. Let's just check out the gold one before we get in line. I was debating between the gold, but Kinda glad I didn't go with it because I wanted something really brown. Oh no, I kinda want the white. That looks really clean. <laughs> Here's the difference in bezels. Tiny bit smaller on the new one. I have a reservation today for a 1215. But I had a question. There's no way I could change color, huh? I got the titanium, but I kinda like the white and I got them in one terabyte. No, they didn't have the white one, but he was like Honestly, bro, you could just return it in two weeks if we have it in stock. So I might have to do that because the white looks so freaking sick, like so clean. The only reason I really wanted this is for the mic pattern pickups. So I'm going to test it out with like the TV behind me, me talking, and then see if I can uh, get the TV sound out. I might have been saying that right. If I can just pick up my voice versus the TV too. What is up everybody? It's been literally about three days since we last chatted. Back home, took the last three days just to kind of decompress, catch up on work. You know, it's hard to see your loved one in pain and hurting, but she's recovering really well. She is doing all her exercises, just had her physical therapy appointment over the weekend and she did great. The physical therapist was actually really surprised at how well she was doing. So good job, mom. I know you're watching this vlog probably, so good job. You know, it's hard making her get up and walk every 10 minutes, but doing that really helped, you know, with her recovery. So she's about one week out almost now. I'm gonna visit her again today, uh, keep her company. But before we do that, I did wanna test out this iPhone feature. Let me put you guys down right here. One of the reasons I wanted to get the new iPhone was because they have this feature when you're doing a, a recording, you can actually change the mic pickup. So there's something called like cinematic, stereo, in-frame, and the one that I'm most interested in is the in-frame one. So basically if I'm talking and there's something in the background or there's noise around, I can choose to have the mics only pick up me and I could do that after recording. So we're gonna test this out. We have the waterfall in the background right now. Waterfall, we have the water feature in the background right now. I don't know how much of that is getting picked up by this mic, but I'm gonna record myself. So let's do a little recording here. Hi, testing one, two, three. You can see the water feature behind me. Let's see how this sounds. 
Hello, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Hi, testing one, two, three. You can see the water feature behind me. Let's see how this sounds. Hello, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Hi, testing one, two, three. You can see the water feature behind me. Let's see how this sounds. Hello, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. All right, we are on our way to check on mom, but decided to turn on the camera right now and just have a conversation with you guys and some driving anyways. I got the pocket three mounted, so yeah. Um, I don't know if you could tell from this vlog, but I've been a little off. I've been feeling off for the last several weeks and I guess that kind of shows because I haven't vlogged in so long. Like I was just looking at my channel. Last video was 14, 15 days ago, which I think this is the longest time I've ever not filmed anything because I obviously don't want to force filming and yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel off and usually I can figure out why I feel off, but I think right now it's just a culmination of a lot of different things going on. Big, small, granular, like thinking about the future, my future and retirement. And then I started thinking about the state of the world and everything that's going on with the wars and people hating each other, all the division that we have in America, this election, like it's all just really fucking depressing to be honest with you. And what are we doing here? You know, the funny thing too is growing up, I was always so proud to be an American. Even though we face our own discrimination because of how we look, I was still very proud because I'm the son of a man who served 20 plus years in the Navy serving this country, proving his worth. And that always made me proud. And then I started thinking, well, I mean, that's good and all, but you think about it too. Like after my dad served his time in the Navy, he had two jobs. My mom worked full time just to provide for our family. So I'm like, was it really, well, it was worth it because he was able to provide for his kids to be able to flourish, but has it gotten better here? <laughs> you know, like we still hear about parents working two jobs and not making enough. And is the country even better? Like then I started thinking about healthcare because obviously my mom is going through her, her knee replacement surgery. And, <clears throat> you know, we went to go get her meds for recovery and we went to Walmart because it was closer, not realizing it was out of network. And so she had to pay extra versus the copay. And that's with good insurance. So how about people without good insurance? How much would they have to pay for surgeries like this? Or they wouldn't even have the option to have surgery. So it's like, it's all just depressing. And I don't wanna bring you guys down because I try to be really positive on my channel and try to be a positive corner on the internet because I feel like we need that. But at the same time, I'm like, I just need to vent. And I feel like you guys are my friends, my homies. So I'm venting to you guys. So if, if this is too depressing, just go ahead and exit out of the video because it's probably gonna be the end of the vlog anyways. But yeah, I'm. Also just curious as to what you guys think about the state of this world. Like if you live in the US, the state of that, if you live outside of the US, how you guys perceive us and our handling of situations, because obviously we're like one of the main countries that really does pave the way forward for policy and humanitarianism and all this stuff, right? But I'm like, man, should we even be that? Like. We don't have our shit together. Big eye opener to me, for me too, was in Japan, just like being around a society where they were a lot more respectful. Like, I don't know what goes on behind closed doors, but like just being out in their public society, I felt there was a lot of respect, a lot of kindness, um, a lot of like, yeah, I guess the word is just a lot of respect. And I feel like that has gotten lost here in America and I hate to talk politics but honestly I've never really been a political person until we had that whole prop 8 which was marriage equality and that was kind of the first time a law or politics could actually affect my life prior to that I don't know if I was just naive but like 
growing up with parents who voted for both Democratic and Republican presidents, they literally voted for both Democrats and Republicans. We never really were taught to be either or. I just sort of aligned with one party a little bit more because I felt like they were nicer. I just felt like they cared a little bit more about the overall well-being of everyone. So I kind of sided that way, but it was never like, oh, my parents were not like, we're Democrats, we're Republicans, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's just, they voted based on who they thought really would be the best for their country. And so it wasn't until that whole Prop 8 with marriage equality that I started looking into politics more. And I'm like, okay, this is finally something that's actually going to affect my life. Like as a citizen in this country, if I wasn't able to marry who I wanted to marry, that would tell me that I'm a second class citizen. That's when I truly was like, I need to stand up for my rights. Yeah. I don't know where I was going off on a tangent with politics, but we're in such a political divide nowadays that it's just so hard to talk to someone who might have different political beliefs as you. I guess just to go back <laughs> into how I was saying I was feeling a little off. I just had a lot less faith in the future of the world. Anyways, sorry for bringing you guys down this, uh, this rabbit hole with me, but Thank you for letting me vent. I already feel better. And this is near the end of the vlog anyways, and only the real ones stick around. So I know you got my back and uh, thank you for letting me vent. And uh, leave a comment down below if you wanna have anything else to add. And don't get me wrong too, there is so much good in the world. Do Please do not get me wrong. There is so much good in the world. And a lot of times I know that the negatives always outweigh the positives when it comes to seeing that you know like it's almost like a review like it's almost like products like we tend to see more bad reviews of products because people are more inclined to go online and write a bad review versus if they're satisfied you know what i mean we go out to eat at a restaurant it's good we have a good time we're not really gonna in be inclined to go and be like great restaurant blah 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 but if you have a shitty time and maybe they were really rude to you you might be more inclined to go you know what nah you know so i understand a lot of that too is that like we see a lot more negative than positives in the news the media social media all that stuff so you know i just yeah wanted to point that out anyways we're almost at mom's now but other than that i will check in with you guys later